Hi everyone, welcome back to the best Eladia set series. Today we will be discussing part number two or maybe an application of the chocolate distribution concept that I have explained in the last set. So all those students who have not watched my last video, go back, watch the last video and only then solve the set, else this will not make any sense to you. Okay, uh, so this is set number two of chocolate distribution or we can call it as Venn diagram optimization techniques as well. Okay, very important and hence I'm trying to cover at least three to four sets on this particular application. And this is the set for today. So the set says that in a group of 400 students, 350 plays cricket, 300 plays hockey, 360 plays football, and 320 students play tennis. What could be the minimum number of students who plays at least who play at least three sports? So again, very clearly, I know this is a classic case of uh, overlapping, and not much information is given to us. And minimum, maximum, we have some questions, so we'll apply chocolate distribution, right? So. The way we apply chocolate distribution is total chocolate ticket is the sum of all the overlapping variables. Right? So, how do you do the sum? You will do 350 plus 300 plus 360 plus 320, right? So, it comes out to be 6, 5, 11, 13, 13, 30. The total number of chocolates which need to be distributed in 400 students, right? This is a simple uh, translation of this optimization question into chocolate distribution problem. Now the set says, what could be the minimum number of students who plays at least three sports, okay? Which means I need to minimize students who plays at least three sports, which means who get at least three chocolates. Now the maximum number of chocolates could be four because I have four variables here, which means I need to minimize either three or four. If I need to minimize either three or four, if I need to minimize the students who get either three or four, I need to maximize the number of students, right? who play uh, at least one or two, right? <clears throat> I need to maximize the number of students who play either no sports or I need to maximize the number of students who get zero chocolates plus one chocolates plus two chocolates, right? Uh, any of it. <clears throat> so again, it is a classic problem. In the last set, set number 58, if you go to the B part of my question, that was pretty much on similar lines. So if you understood that concept very well, you'll be able to directly apply it here. Right? So for example, we have 400 students. Let's give one chocolate to all the 400 students, right? Then we'll be left with, then we will only consume 400 chocolates, but we have 13, 30 chocolates, which means minimum two chocolates need to be given to every 400 students, which means at least this is how I will be able to <clears throat> give 800 chocolates to a total of 400 students, right? So if this is what I assume that uh, that every student gets two chocolates each, I will be left out with how many chocolates in total? I have 1330 chocolates out of which I have already given 800 chocolates, right? So the leftover chocolates that need to be distributed is 530. Now we know I need to minimize <clears throat> the number of people who get at least three chocolates, right? So yeah, let's say I have one, two, three, and so on and so forth till 400 students, right? I have already given two chocolates. I have already given two chocolates. I have already given two students. I have already given two students. Because I have already given two students. So what I will do? Maximum I can give him two more chocolates because in total I have four variables. So maximum I can give him four chocolates. Right? Because I have already given two students. I can give one or two, but because I want to students, I will give the maximum, which is a total of two more chocolates, right? Which means the left out, the left out chocolate, which is a total of 530 chocolates, need to be distributed to as many students such that every student can accommodate two more. That is the total four, and I will be able to minimize the number of students. Which means 530 by two is nothing but 265, right? So, I know that 265 students will be like this, which will be Plus two, plus two, plus two, two right? Which means two sixty five students will have four chocolates. So, जो बचे हुए हैं one thirty five students, they will have two chocolates. And if you sum both of it, you will get thirteen thirty chocolates, right? So, my question was, what could be the minimum number of students who plays at least three sports? This answer will be two sixty five. Because अगर मैं इनको तीन तीन, for example, अगर मैं इनको तीन chocolates दूँगा, right? So, so there will be a few more people जिसको तीन chocolates मिलेगी. But because I have minimum number of students, hai, students ko mujhe minimize karna hai, so I will give the maximum number of chocolates so students minimize them. So the answer for this particular question will be 265. There are any questions, let me know. It is a, it is a pure common sense. There is no 
स्टैंडर्ड ट्रेड शॉर्टकट्स नहीं है प्योर कॉमन सेंस इफ यू ट्रांसलेट दिस इनटू चॉकलेट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मेथड ठीक है होप यू गाइस आर एंजॉइंग इट इफ यू आर डू गिव अस अ थम्स अप एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स